In this video series, we are going to learn Salesforce Experience Cloud. Uh, using Salesforce Experience Cloud, we will be creating a website completely from scratch uh, with no code again. Uh, we will use or uh, we will leverage uh, Salesforce out of the box uh, templates and then we'll tweak the templates to meet our requirements. Uh, again, we will do everything without writing a single line of code. So uh, we, will, we will just start with a business use case and then uh, we will try to understand what are the three things that we should remember when we deal with experience cloud and then briefly we will touch on the we will touch upon the design steps that we are going to follow in this entire uh, entire training entire learning course so the first thing is let's pick up a business use case and then we'll just see how we can uh, we can uh, implement this business use case using experience cloud so this business use case it's for a company named the travel hut so basically it's a it's an online travel company that helps travelers to book hotels to search for the flights to you know to look for cabs and, and route planners etc etc so right now the company you know does not have a website specifically for the travelers or the customers so but they are using salesforce crm for managing all the travelers details and their booking information everything is available right in the salesforce crm so right now the company's requirement is to improve the customer relationship and decrease the service cost typically travelers when they book for book the flight or when they uh, booked a hotel if they have any further queries they they give a call to the service team of travel at company and then the trip and the service team will address the customer issue isn't it so that's how currently it is working so so this is what the 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 company is trying to or looking forward to reduce so instead of uh, instead of uh, utilizing the service team the company is looking to create a website and uh, most of the common uh, common asks from the customer it's going to put up on the on the customer portal so that the travelers you know can look into that uh, can can go to the website and then take a look at the uh, the common asks and also you know a community is going to be built so they can also post their questions and other travelers can also you know share their uh, uh, share their uh, responses or uh, answer to the queries right so basically we need to build a customer portal right and uh, yeah so this will drastically reduce the effort or the effort from the customer support agents yeah and uh, if that is a question from the traveler from the customer which is not able to address uh, you know through the website right then you know the 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 traveler or the customer can can create a, a case you know so that the customer service representative can uh, take a look at the case and then you know and then provide a resolution to the customer so that is also that is also you know one of the requirements from the travel hat company so this is a business use case for which we are going to build a, a complete you know customer portal yeah so one good thing is the travel hat company is using salesforce crm for managing all the travelers so you know we can use that to set up uh, accounts for uh, the customers right uh, to access the customer portal yeah we will also uh, get the you know uh, get the uh, we'll also make it uh, public so that uh, any users right that do not have uh, a login access to this portal can also still see the information as in uh, you know the articles uh, uh, you know uh, uh, common uh, asks from the other customers etc right so we will we will make it uh, available for guest users also okay so all these things we are going to do it in this uh, in this learning course so uh, three pillars yeah so we will talk about the salesforce setup and this is where you know uh, this is this is where we configure the website yeah uh, we enable the website we enable users to access the website and also we control the the security uh, what users can see in the website what users can do in the website so all the security related settings you know we will use our salesforce setup to do it so this is one of the primary things uh, that that one should remember when we use the salesforce experience cloud the first one the second one is experience workspaces so the moment you create a website or enable a digital experience uh, in salesforce you will you will get to see uh, different options 
not just building a website you can also able to manage the content that needs to be put up on the website so for which we have a separate content management uh, available in experience cloud which you will find it configurable right in this uh, experience cloud and also you can able to monitor uh, how many users are accessing the site and uh, uh, using the dashboards etc so you also are able to moderate the content so when you enable a community people will post some questions so you may want to monitor the questions being posted by the by the community users and you want to regulate it as either you know you want to review and then you know ensure the uh, comments are posted on the site or you want to automatically filter certain content based on some rules so you will configure everything right in this experience workspace this is this is this is the next important pillar when you work with experience cloud the third one is experience builder and this is where you actually build the site it's all drag and drop you don't have to write a single line of code if you want to bring a header you know or if you want to change uh, um, a menu a navigation bar uh, for the users right for the website you can configure it right here so you can also use this to add uh, or configure users that need to be given access to the to the site uh, to the site also you can able to um, uh, configure uh, the the styles the, the the look and feel of your uh, website so you can add images to me images you can change the color of your experience site uh, etc you can do everything right within this experience builder so salesforce offers uh, a handful of uh, templates which we can pick and then you know further fine tune based on our requirements so we will see that how we can do it but these are the three pillars that one should remember when we deal with experience cloud and this is how you know we envision our final product um, would be so this is the one so this is how we are going to um, we are going to you know build uh, this is the final product that we are planning to build so so you will have an option to um, option given to the customers to search for anything you know let's say there is a question around uh, you know pets so as you can just see there is an information put up on the website when the customer is looking for uh, looking for uh, uh, for hotels that allow pets isn't it so so it looks like there is an article available so where the customer can just go look directly and then you take a look at the look at the information right and also the customer can see related information about chicken checkout etc etc so this way most of the queries that customers may have in their in their mind gets addressed instead of them reaching out to the service agents so this is the first thing we will you know we will configure and also this site also offers uh, different information you know across different categories if you have any questions related to bookings yes you do have this bookings category under which uh, uh, you have uh, you have you know different uh, different uh, questions you know questions or Q&A put up where the user can just see if their you know questions are answered and if not the user can anyways you know um, open a discussion so that other community members can also can also you know chime in and they can provide their suggestions etc so that is also available on the portal so other than that um, the the team can also contact the, or the customers can also contact the support team if they have a specific query that is not uh, addressed by by the by the information put up already on the website so they can set up they can you know give a brief description about the about the uh, question they have or the problem they face they submit and this, this gets created as a case back in the system so they can also track the cases that they have created yeah so who is working what is the current status etc etc they can able to manage all the queries as well that is being worked upon you know by the customer service agents so all these uh, good functionalities are going to be introduced uh, in our in our service in our customer community portal yeah again without write without uh, writing uh, writing a single line of code let us see how we are going to build that uh, you know as we move forward